Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Razia. I'm here to help you make better skincare choices. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified of my weekly uploads, and you can check me out on Instagram and TikTok for more. Today's a bit of an interesting one. We're gonna be talking all about cruelty-free skincare. I will admit, before going into research for this video, I didn't know too much about the whole cruelty-free situation, as in what makes a brand cruelty-free, what are the identifiers to look for, and all of that good stuff. I'll share some of the information that I've learned researching for this video. I'll share some resources down below as well. And then we're gonna talk about my personal recommendations for cruelty-free brands and cruelty-free products. Cruelty-free beauty and skincare is a really big topic. I'm not gonna go super in depth in this video. I'm just gonna cover some basics just so we're both on the same page. I don't think it's my place to go really in depth into it either. I'm not strictly cruelty-free myself. So that's just, just before we get into it, let me just put that as a little disclaimer. I did come across a few really good websites that make it really easy to understand what Cruelty Free stands for. And they've also got checklists and they've got a lot of the brands that come under Cruelty Free. So it makes it really easy to understand and really easy to find brands that align with those values. A couple of those websites are Cruelty Free Kitty and Leaping Bunny. And I think there are some more and I'll leave those linked below. If there are other websites that I'm missing that I didn't list down below, feel free to leave them in the comments to help others out because there's always people that are looking for this sort of information. When it comes to what makes a brand cruelty free, there are quite a few points that brands need to check off. Cruelty Free Kitty has a checklist available on their website and this provides all the different points that a brand has to check off in order for them to actually be classified as cruelty free. One interesting point that I did see noted on the Cruelty Free Kitty website is the fact that a lot of brands do outline that they do not test on animals but this doesn't make the brand cruelty free. One of the points on their checklist is that a brand cannot sell products in a country where testing on animals is required by law. And I think the most popular one, I'm not sure if China is the only one that has laws like this, but they're definitely the one that seems to take up a lot of the conversation. So let's say you're a brand, you don't test any of your ingredients on animals, you don't test any of your products on animals, but you sell your products in physical stores in China. You can't be cruelty free because China regulations require testing of animals. So I hope that makes that a little bit clear. So that's where the main issue lies, basically. If a brand chooses to sell products in China, they can't be classified as cruelty free. Another way around this is if you have products that are actually manufactured in China. Products manufactured in China don't have to be tested on animals. So with all that said, I hope that wasn't too confusing. If I missed anything important, please let me know down below. I am a beginner to all of this, so I don't want to mislead anyone but this is just a really basic understanding of cruelty-free beauty and cruelty-free skincare. I will say I thought it was gonna be more challenging to find cruelty-free brands because for whatever reason, I always had in my head that cruelty-free brands always tend to be that kind of natural, organic, full of essential oils type of brand. So those weren't gonna be brands that I was gonna be a fan of. And if they weren't gonna be natural, organic, full of essential oils, they were gonna be really, really expensive. And both of those categories aren't my thing. I'm happy to say though, I did find quite a few good ones. So let's get into it. And actually a lot of these, I was already a fan of. So it was a win-win. <laughs> All right, let's start with the first cruelty-free skincare brand and that's Paula's Choice. Paula's Choice is easily one of the best skincare companies out there at the moment. Science, research-based products and formulations, really, really good quality products. They're not the cheapest, but they're definitely not expensive by any means. I don't think they're expensive anyway. I think they're quite reasonable for what you get. And you really can't go wrong with Paula's Choice. One of my favorites that I have tried, of course, is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. This product is a classic for a reason. Really great product. They've also got some great cleansers. Their booster serums are really good for those looking for a specific serum for any specific concern, whether that's a retinol, whether you need an isidamide, whether you need a vitamin C serum, they pretty much have all your bases covered. They've also got some really good toners as well. I will have all the brands and products linked down below. Some of these will be affiliate links, which means I make a small commission if you use the link to make a purchase and it just helps to support me and my channel. The next brand is one that I've talked about so much on this channel. You guys are probably sick of he hearing me mention them over and over again, but that's the Inky List. They are really affordable. They're really, really affordable skincare brand, which is great. They make some really good products and they're cruelty free, they're fragrance free, and they're not 100% vegan, but I do think 
a majority of their products are vegan friendly as well. So that's another plus. One of my favorite products from the Inkey List is their Oat Cleansing Balm. In general, I'm a fan of their cleansers. I made a video talking about the three cleansers that they have. I'll have that one linked up here for you. I'm also a fan of their serums, especially the niacinamide. It's one of my favorite serums like ever, pretty much. And they just do a really good job of making accessible, affordable, good quality skincare. I have done a video solely dedicated to the Inky List and talking about my favorites and my not so favorites from the brand. So check that out. I'll have that one linked up here for you as well. The next brand is one I haven't really tried, but they've been really catching my eye recently. And that's Frank Body. They've been coming out with quite a few really interesting looking releases and they're cruelty free and the products look really, really good. And I'm hearing really great things about them as well. They recently came out with a hyaluronic acid serum, an eye cream and a retinol. And before that, they'd come out with a salicylic acid cleanser. They've got a really good vitamin C brightening mask. They've just really got quite a few good products that look really, really good and are priced very well. And they're cruelty free. They're not 100% vegan. Again, most of their products are, but I do think they've got a few products that might have beeswax in them. So they can't be classified as 100% vegan friendly, but I think the vast majority of their products are vegan. For a while, I didn't even look twice at Frank Body because I thought all they did was coffee scrubs, but they've really branched out since then. They've got a really good looking skincare line and they've got a really interesting looking hair care line as well. So that's something to look into if you're looking for another affordable skincare brand. And they're available at Mecca, so really easy to get your hands on as well. The next cruelty-free brand is Boost Lab. They're a relatively new skincare brand and their whole thing is that they make serums, only serums, and all of their serums are priced at $29.95. Great price point, really, really great. And they've basically got a serum for everything. They've got a niacinamide, a vitamin C, a hyaluronic acid. They've got your exfoliating serums and they've also got a retinol as well. They sent me their full range not too long ago and I've been slowly working my way through them and really enjoying what I'm using so far. I've used up the whole vitamin B3 blemish rescue serum, really good niacinamide serum. I mentioned it in my empties video, I think. And I've also been using their retinol. I've been using this for about a month now. Really, really good serum. I'm seeing really good results with it so far. It is early days. We know retinol is more of a long game, but I think this is a really good beginner retinol serum. And for 30 bucks, I mean, you really can't complain. They're cruelty free. They're available on Adore Beauty. So easy to get your hands on, really fast shipping with Adore Beauty as well. The next cruelty free brand is a new drugstore brand and that is Q&A Skincare. This is a UK based brand that we recently got launched in Priceline here in Australia. They're cruelty free and most of their products are vegan friendly as well. There are some that aren't vegan, um, so that's something to be aware of when you're looking into some of the products, but they're cruelty free, which is great. From the ones I've tried, my favorites are the Hyaluronic Acid Cleanser and their toners. They also have some good serums as well. I did review them in my last video. If you wanna check that one out, I have it linked up here for you. Another great affordable cruelty-free skincare brand is Good Molecules. They're available on beautylish.com and they have some really basic but really good skincare products like their niacinamide brightening toner. They've got their hyaluronic acid and niacinamide serums. They've also got their trinexamic acid night serum, which is supposed to be really good for brightening dark spots. And then they've got some cleansers as well. So that's another brand worth checking out if you're after an affordable cruelty-free brand. Next, let's bring it back to some Australian chemist brands. And we've got QV, Azcli, Dermavine. Those are all cruelty-free. I'm pretty sure they're all vegan as well. And they make some really good products. I love QV and love Azcli. <laughs> as you guys know. If you're someone that really likes the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser, but you're looking for a cruelty-free option, check out the QV Gentle Cleanser. It's basically the same thing. You might actually like the QV one a little bit better. If you're looking for a really good moisturizer, the QV Night Cream is amazing. I love that product so, so much. QV also has some really good body care. They've got their body care with ceramides range. They've got their sting-free ointment. That's a really good occlusive balm for those with really dry skin. They've got some really good stuff. So if you haven't checked out QV, definitely check them out. Next, Azcli, as I mentioned, I'm a huge fan. Their azelaic acid is one of my savior products. Love that product so, so much. They've also got a really good sunscreen and they've got a gentle foaming cleanser as well. And last but not least, had to mention this brand and that's Desium. 
As far as my research went, and to my knowledge, they are cruelty free. They do not sell their products to mainland China. And we love Dacium over here. Everything from Niod to Hylamide to The Ordinary. And The Ordinary specifically is vegan as well. I'm not gonna harp on about my favorites from The Ordinary too much because I've talked about them enough already in some other videos. I'll link them up here for you. But yeah, that's definitely good to know that they are cruelty free and basically have been this whole time and vegan. <laughs> So that's that. Those are some of my favorite drugstore brands that are also cruelty free. So I hope I answered some of your questions when it comes to cruelty free brand recommendations. If you have any that I might have missed, please leave them in the comments below. If I made any mistakes in my video today, please also feel free to correct me down below. I don't want to mislead anyone and say the wrong thing and I really hope I didn't. I, <laughs> I really, really hope I didn't. If you did enjoy this video and you found it useful, please leave me a like down below. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what some of your favorites are as well. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and check out some of the other videos I have on my channel. I've got some good ones on here for you and I'll see you in the next one.